Hi there. So today we have another unboxing. Um, this box happens to look just like the one I unboxed back in March of this year because it turns out to be from the same place. So last time um, I purchased the Raspberry Pi 3 um, from the same place and this time around let's see what is in here. Uh, As with last time, there are a couple of Raspberry Pi 3s. First of all, you can see that um, I believe this is a new packaging that um, the uh, Raspberry Pi 3 Model B produced by um, RS Components come in. Um, and then if you look at the back, right. So the difference is that um, technical conformance mark it signifies that this um, device that uses uh, wireless transmissions, um, radio waves, etc, etc, is um, permitted to be used in Japan. Um, in the previous generation, uh, the one I purchased back in March, um, it was a little uh, silver sticker that was um, pasted onto the box itself. So this is a newer one. And there's another big difference about this Raspberry Pi which you can see if we close up over here. Yes, this is a Raspberry Pi 3 made in Japan. So, what we have here is a Raspberry Pi 3 that is made in Japan. So I guess I'll go uh, look inside and see if there's actually any difference in terms of uh, what it's made of and such. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so I have the two boxes uh, right next to each other. Um, looking at it, they're the same dimensions, and of course, uh, the box cover art is di different. Um, yeah, aside from that, nothing too special. So I guess I'll go ahead and open up the box and see what, what we have in here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Ah, looks fairly similar, we have the Raspberry Pi itself and the instruction manual. So we'll go ahead and look at the instruction manual. And you know what? This looks pretty much exactly the same as the one that's in the um, Raspberry Pi that was made in the UK. So here it is. Um, you know what? It looks pretty similar. All right, so there's the instruction manual. Well, not the instruction manual, it's actually the regulatory compliance and safety information. That's what it actually is. Right, so we have one of these. I guess I'll keep it over here. And we have the Raspberry Pi itself. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, that actually does look different. We'll take a closer look. All right, so the sake of comparison, I just kept these um, open like this. But before we go into um, actually looking at the boards, um, so I'm just gonna go into a little bit of background of um, what I've heard about um, the reason why they're actually making Raspberry Pis in Japan. So it turns out there is some demand for um, using Raspberry Pi 3s in um, embedded um, products that are actually sold in Japan domestically. Or maybe they're being sold internationally, but anyway. Um, companies in Japan apparently are um, looking to buy Raspberry Pi 3s, and they pretty much want to um, have the supply chain such that they can uh, purchase the things domestically and not have to rely upon getting the components from overseas. Probably one of the reasons for that is lately the um, the yen has been fluctuating um, quite a bit. Well, yeah, up and down. Probably a lot more than um, in the past. So pretty much foreign exchange rates and such has been seen as um, you know business risks and such. So uh, some companies are probably demanding to have um, their components being built in Japan uh, rather than being sourced from overseas. That's probably one of the reasons why they came to the decision to actually um, build these Raspberry Pi 3s in Japan as well. So interestingly, um, at the same um, time as the Raspberry Pi 3 made in Japan version um, was introduced in the Japanese market, the um, Raspberry Pi 3s, um, the prices have come down quite a bit. So they used to be about, about 5,600 yen, which is about 50 US dollars. 
it came down to about uh, 4,500 yen, 4,500 yen. That's about $40. No, a little more than that, $42 or so. Um, so yes, they've come down in uh, price quite a bit. They're not quite the $35 mark um, that you would get in the US and such, but at least it's gotten quite a bit uh, cheaper. So it's much easier to get, um, get a hold of these in the hobby market and such. Right, so with that kind of little explanation about why they have these made in Japan Raspberry Pis now, um, let's go ahead and actually take a look at um, the Raspberry Pi 3 that's been made in Japan. So, so here you go. This is the um, Raspberry Pi made in Japan. This is actually the first time I'm looking at it and holding it, so I'm gonna have to go along and um, try to look for some differences. So first of all, the thing that really popped into my eyes right now is the technical conformance mark here. So this symbol signifies, so this device is compliant and allowed to be used within Japan um, when it uses uh, radio frequencies and such and transmits radio waves and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Regulatory thing that um, all devices need to have. So in the um, the Raspberry Pi 3 that was made in the UK, this mark is not present. And of course there's probably a little, yeah, there it is. So there's a little um, print at the top that says made in Japan. So yeah, the other obvious thing that really um, jumped right in front of me is um, that these um, connectors that allow you to connect the display and I believe the camera, yeah, the camera, uh, they have this little yellow they have this little yellow tab or tape or something that I didn't see in the um, made in UK version of the Raspberry Pi 3. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Um, it might just be a um, protection for the um, edge connectors or something, but mm, so at least that's something that's different um, from the um, made in UK version of the Raspberry Pi 3. So yeah, aside from that, I really can't see any um, big differences in the um, components that are on the Raspberry Pi 3 that's made in Japan. Um, maybe I'll go ahead and um, put these uh, boards side by side and, and take a closer look. All right, so here we go. Um, the one on the left is the Raspberry Pi 3 um, that's that was made in the UK. And here's the Raspberry Pi 3 that was made in Japan. So, so the most obvious difference, I think you can tell just by looking at it without um, a very close inspection is that the um, uh, colors of the um, connector series display and the camera are different. So this is what I um, when I first noticed when I um, I unboxed the um, Raspberry Pi 3. And aside from that, um, you can see that the color of the PCB on the uh, one that was made in the UK is a little darker compared to the one that was made in Japan. Aside from that, um, as I mentioned, the um, technical conformance mark is not on the one made in the UK, but it is in the one made in Japan. This should make it easier for companies that are using this in their products to um, show that they're compliant with the regulations and such. So that actually might be one of the big reasons why uh, there was the decision was made to actually um, cr create these in Japan as well, aside from probably the supply chain issues and such. So aside from that, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's really easy to tell from uh, looking at it through the camera, but the um, the connectors, like the USB connectors and the well USB ports and the Ethernet. Actually, Ethernet looks exactly the same. So the USB ports um, seem to be uh, maybe different lots, maybe, but it's probably the same um, manufacturer because I can see that it says um, EDAC on on all all the ports. Uh, the one on the um, Raspberry Pi 3 made in the U uh, UK, I don't see any markings that say it's made by EDAC. So that's a little difference. So overall, the printings on the um, PCB itself looks very, fairly similar. So yeah, there aren't a lot of differences, at least from what I can tell. Let's go ahead and look at the, um, the other side and see if we can find anything else that might be different. All right, so I flipped the uh, Raspberry Pi 3s over. The one on the left is the one made in the UK. The one on the right is the one made in Japan. So 
pretty much looks very similar. The little QR code up here that's an identification code for something. Looks exactly the same. The markings look pretty much the same. I don't see anything different right off the bat. It even looks like the SD card uh, slot itself is pretty much the same. So I took a closer look at these um, two boards and I did notice one difference around the fuse. Taking a look at this um, Raspberry Pi 3 made in the UK, so you can see that the fuse over here has the marking 265E. Um, and while the fuse on the Raspberry Pi 3 made in Japan says 266K. So that's pretty much the difference um, that I've been able to see from um, looking at the back side of the Raspberry Pi 3s. So there really shouldn't be any um, significant differences between the two boards because um, both of the Raspberry Pi 3 boards are um, listed as being version 1.2, as we can see on the front side. So. In terms of like the PCB layout and design and all the traces and such, they should be the same. But so there's some differences at the component level, probably because um, where they're uh, sourcing their components and such. Um, this board being in Japan and this board being in the UK, they probably have some differences of where they're getting their components from. So that pretty much concludes um, this video on the differences that we can find between the uh, Raspberry Pi 3 that's been that's made in the United Kingdom and the Raspberry Pi that is being made in Japan. So that pretty much concludes my video. Um, if you like this video, um, I'd appreciate it if you can give it, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to see more videos like this, um, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.